Did you know that France is sometimes called the hexagon? That's because it has six sides just like a hexagon. But don't worry, you won't need a geometry set to visit. Bonjour, everyone. Let's take a whimsical journey to a land that's shaped like a six-sided figure, yes, a hexagon. We're talking about none other than France, a charming country tucked away in the heart of Europe. It's cozied up to eight different neighbors, including Spain to the south, Belgium to the north, and Italy to the east. Quite the social butterfly, isn't it? Now, when you think of France, what pops up in your mind first? The Eiffel Tower? Croissants? Well, let's not forget about its capital, Paris, the city of love and lights. It's not just about romance, though. Paris is a bustling metropolis, where modern life meets rich history at every corner. So next time you're drawing a hexagon, remember, you're also drawing a map of France. France isn't just a big hexagon, it's also home to some pretty cool plants and animals. Let's start with the geographical features of France. This country is pretty diverse, you know? There's everything from the towering heights of the Alps in the east, to the sun-drenched beaches of the French Riviera in the south, to the rocky coastline of Brittany in the west, and don't forget the lush vineyards of Bordeaux and the rolling hills of Provence. Now let's talk about the rivers. The longest river in France is the Loire, which flows through some of the most beautiful castles you could ever imagine. Then there's the Seine, which flows right through the heart of Paris, and the Rhone, which flows from the Swiss Alps to the Mediterranean Sea. But what about the plants and animals? Well, France is home to more than 4,000 species of flowering plants. In the spring, the countryside bursts into color with wildflowers like poppies, irises, and lavender. And in the forests, you'll find oak, beech, and pine trees. As for the animals, you might spot red deer or wild boars in the forests. If you're really lucky, you might even see a lynx or a brown bear in the Pyrenees Mountains. And let's not forget about the birds. France is a bird watcher's paradise with species like the flamingo, the golden eagle, and the Atlantic puffin. Oh, and don't forget about the insects. France is home to the scarlet tiger moth and the Apollo butterfly, two of the most beautiful insects you'll ever see. And then there's the underwater world. With three different coastlines, France has a diverse marine life. From the colorful fish of the Mediterranean to the seals of the Atlantic, there's always something to see. So you see, France is much more than just croissants and the Eiffel Tower. It's a country full of natural beauty, from its mountains and rivers to its plants and animals. So if you're ever in France, don't forget to keep an eye out for these natural wonders. Now let's talk about the people who live in this hexagonal wonderland. France is home to around 67 million people. That's a lot of berets. The official language is, you guessed it, French. But you'll also hear languages like Breton, Occitan, and even English spoken in different corners of the country. France is a melting pot of cultures. You'll find people of various backgrounds from North African, Portuguese, Italian, and Polish roots to name a few. This diversity is reflected in their rich culture, especially in their love for food and art. From the crispy baguettes and creamy cheeses to the elegant ballet performances and the world-renowned works of art in the Louvre, the French are passionate about their culture. And let's not forget, the French are known for their love of fashion, always setting trends with their chic and stylish attire. So, in France, you'll find a wonderful mix of people, languages, and cultures. France isn't just about good food and beautiful landscapes, it's also a major player in the world economy. Let's take a quick peek into the French economic scene. France has one of the largest economies in the world, ranking among the top 10. The country's prosperity is largely due to its diverse range of exports. Now let's talk about the top 10 exports of France. They are known globally for their exquisite machinery, particularly automobiles and aircraft. Next up is their pharmaceutical industry contributing significantly to their economy. French chemical products and electronic equipment also make it to the list. Of course, we can't forget about the delicious French food and beverages. They export a large amount of agricultural products including wine, cheese, and cereals. Fashion is another key industry, with French luxury goods and cosmetics being coveted worldwide. So, remember, the next time you're enjoying a French product, you're also supporting the French economy. Now that we know so much about France, wouldn't it be fun to visit? Let's start with the City of Lights Paris, where we can't miss the Eiffel Tower standing tall and proud. It's like a giant metal lollipop in the heart of the city. And don't forget the Louvre Museum, home to the world-famous Mona Lisa. But hey, no funny faces at Mona, she's very serious. Next, let's head to Versailles, where kings and queens used to live. The Palace of Versailles is like a gigantic dollhouse, 
filled with stunning rooms and a garden that stretches as far as the eye can see. It's so big, you might need a map to find your way around. How about a trip to Mont Saint-Michel? It's a tiny island commune in Normandy, with a big abbey on top. It looks like a castle floating on water during high tide. Fairy tale stuff, right? Now for the nature lovers, the French Alps are a must-see. They're like giant scoops of vanilla ice cream with a sprinkle of powdered sugar on top. But don't try to eat them. That's actually snow. Ever imagined stepping into a painting? Well, that's what it feels like in Giverny, where the artist Claude Monet lived. You can wander around his home and his beautiful gardens that inspired some of his most famous paintings. And for beach fun, let's head to the French Riviera, also known as Côte d'Azur. It's where the sun is always shining, and the Mediterranean Sea sparkles like a blue gemstone. Finally, let's not forget Disneyland Paris because who doesn't love a magical adventure with Mickey and friends? From cityscapes to stunning landscapes, from art and history to fun and adventure, France has it all, it's like a giant playground waiting for you to explore. So pack your bags because France is waiting for you. France isn't just about history and culture, it's also a hub for sports, cinema, and music. Let's dive in. When it comes to sports, football reigns supreme in France. The French national team known as Les Bleus has won numerous prestigious titles including the FIFA World Cup. But it's not all about football. Each year, France also hosts the world's most famous cycling race, the Tour de France. And don't forget about tennis. The French Open is one of the four Grand Slam tournaments. Moving on to cinema, French films are renowned for their artistic flair. France is the birthplace of cinema and continues to produce award-winning movies. Some of the world's most respected film festivals, like Cannes, take place right here in France. And the music, from classic chansons to modern pop, French music is as diverse as it is captivating. France is home to world-famous artists like Edith Piaf and Daft Punk. So whether you're a sports fan, a movie buff, or a music enthusiast, France has something for you. Before we say au revoir, let's put your knowledge to the test with a quick quiz. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Question 1. What's the capital city of France? Is it A. London, B. Paris, or C. Berlin? If you guessed B. Paris, then you're absolutely right. Paris, also known as the city of love and lights, is indeed the heartthrob capital of France. Moving on to question 2. Can you name one of the top 10 exports of France? Could it be A. Cheese, B. Aircrafts, or C. Pineapples? If you picked B. Aircrafts, you're soaring high. While France is famous for its cheese, aircrafts are actually one of its top exports. Finally, question 3. What kind of geographical feature is the Mont Blanc? Is it A, a river, B, a mountain, or C, a desert? If you said B, a mountain, you've reached the peak of this quiz. Mont Blanc is in fact the highest mountain in France and also in Europe. Well done everyone! Whether you ace the quiz or learn something new, keep that curiosity alive and keep seeking knowledge. That's the beauty of learning. There's always something new to discover. Now before we wrap up our French journey, there's one last thing. If you enjoyed this video and want to continue learning about the world around us in a fun and engaging way, then do yourself a favor. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button to the Guru Kids Smart Kids channel. We promise, it's an adventure you won't want to miss. As we close the curtain on our French expedition, remember, France is not just a place on a map. It's a culture, a way of life, and a treasure trove of wonders waiting to be explored. Thank you for joining us on this journey through France. Don't forget to subscribe to Guru Kids Smart Kids channel for more fun and learning. Au revoir.